Hi friends, today we are going to deal with reading data from camel csv and creating camel csv file. working fine it is up and running so first we are just going to create new package that is a route package and we create a new sample route and extending our route builder implementing the configure method fighting with s component so as to find this class so so what we are going to do is that we just created a sample data.csv so we are he, here we have user id user name as the headers and we have values like 100 as the user id and user name as add is same 101 for the next one and uh, bob is the name so we are just we just created this csv so we are just mapping this data into the route and we will be processing the data like we will have the csv we will process the data and then we will push that data to the queue and from the queue we will read this data and then we will construct new a new csv so this is what we are planning to do so starting the route from the file component we are utilizing the file component so just giving the path of this file src name slash okay. Okay. giving no to true so as to retain the file just adding the load so typo so we got the data from the file then we need to unmarshal the data so for unmarshaling we just need to have a csv data format so for that purpose we are actually using the bind csv data format so defining the data format bind csv data format so for this bind csv data format it requires a particular model class so as to properly format the data so here we just need to have a model class so i am just constructing a model class like sample user so the sample user will have user main uh, user id user main So just adding the getters and setters for this one. And also for the binding CSV data format, it requires some annotation so as to properly map the data. So here we give the CSV record annotation. So it has parameters such as a separator. So we define the separator as comma. 
next one is uh, I think uh, skip first line. Yeah, skip first line. So this is to uh, skip the header header values. So the first two values will be as you can see the first values are the headers. So so to skip that one, skip first line rule and then uh, call generate header column. So generate header column has two. Uh, we have these three arguments and then we give the data field annotation so we give the position this will be the position as one and then we have the column name argument so if we have a different name mentioned in the file we can uh, pass that over here so it will be possibly fetch the values according to the column name mentioned over here I'm just uh, having the same so I'm just giving that itself so this generated generate header columns is required when we construct the CSV uh, that I will I will explain when we reach the end of the project so yeah the model class is done so we give this we give this model class over to the CSV binding CSV data format. So we just mentioned that over here sample user dot class and then we will unmarshal the data using the data format. So I just give the bind. So we just formatted the data. Now what is required is that we need to construct or we need to marshal this to a JSON. So I am just marshaling the data. And just marshalling using the JSON library, JSON library JSON. This pretty print adding the pretty print argument as true. So we have just marshaled the data to JSON and we just convert the data to a string format just to make it a string level. Uh, and then we can push the data to the Active MQ. So here we need to add the active MQ Q name. So I haven't, I think I haven't added, yeah, I haven't added any active MQ configuration. So just copy pasting the active MQ configurations. So here I have just defined a queue, sample queue, sample queue. So so we will be adding the same sample queue over here. Just copy pasting it. So we add it. Yeah. So we can check whether this works fine. That is that uh, reads the data from the file, then I'm marshalling it, then marshalling that to the JSON format, then converting to string and then pushing it to the Active MQ. So here I have the queue. So I just delete the queue. So now there is no there are no queues available. So we will just start the application. Yeah. Data received from file. Yeah. So I just forgot to add one more log. Again, where that we can add later. So we can check whether there is data. Yeah, sample queue is created and we have one message. Yeah, we can see user ID, username Alice, and both both are there. So the data is now pushed to the queue. Now what is remaining is that we need to consume the data from the queue. So before that, just adding in log log. So now what we need is that we need to consume the data back from the queue and then need to construct a new CSV. So what I am doing is from we will consume the data from the same queue. So we just take the data from the queue and then we need to so it is it is just like a string format 
So we need to convert or we need to make that into a new CSV. So what we will be doing is that we will first unmarshal it to a Java object format. So for that we need to have a unmarshaler or we need to have a data format. So for that we define the next format that is the Jackson 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 data format Jackson data format yes Jackson data format Jackson data format Jackson data format here we will be adding the sample user class so it will look into the sample user class and we we will just define some of the properties like Jackson data format dot list so it will use the list and then we will set the Jackson data format unmarshaler type we have a different set of options available for the Jackson data format and we will set the sample user dot class over here okay so the Jackson data format is ready so we will put Pass that to the unmarshal and now we just unmarshal the data and now what is remaining is that we need to construct that data with that data we need to construct a new CSV so here we will work out the marshal command so we will marshal and we will use the bind t so here we have a bind t type like we can mention the binary type dot csv and we will be mentioning which use which model class to look up so we will we have the same sample user dot class and we add that and then we need to give the file path so here i will be giving the same file path like file src main repo and here we have an argument like a file name so I just give the file name as new sample data dot csv so I'm adding a log successfully created just check whether this works fine so before running that we can just delete the queue existing queue so it will create a new fresh queue so yeah no queues are available so we are just going to start the application so before starting we can see like we have only the sample data.csv over here. So just starting. Yeah, data received from file, data consumed from queue, data pushed to queue, successfully created CSV. So it worked it two times. And check what happens. Yes, new sample dot CSV. We have that over here. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. I will be sharing the code in the GitHub and I will be adding the link in the description. Also, you can read more about the JSON marshalling and marshalling CSV related articles. So, I will be sharing my site link also in the video description. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all for watching. Bye.